This is the sound that will line the walls of the Dunedin Town Hall tomorrow evening. Christian Chong, along with the Southern Symphonia Orchestra, will perform three pieces commemorating the First World War, and Chong will perform his piece with just the one hand. There was a pianist called Paul Wittgenstein, uh, and he had his right hand blown off in World War I, and uh, he was quite wealthy, fortunately, and he commissioned a whole bunch of uh, left-hand concertos for the piano and so this was the very first one. And after learning with two hands he says switching to one is not as hard as it seems. It's actually no different than playing with two. Everybody says oh, it must be hard because you have to knock out half of uh, half of what you think but actually it's exactly the same thought process. Um, it is more difficult in that I have to, I'm a little bit more off balance at times uh, but it's, it's not not that much different. Chong will perform with Scotland-based composer Jessica Cottis. She says hundreds of hours of preparation have gone into this show and to open the orchestra's new season with this production is something very special. The first two pieces are by French composer Maurice Ravel uh, and he uh, he was an ambulance driver in the war and then the second half of the program is the Pastoral Symphony by Vaughan Williams uh, who also uh, was a stretcher bearer in the war. Cotter says it is an honour to commemorate the war and says it is important for us to look back at what happened 100 years ago. It's 100 years ago and for my generation it seems like it, it almost never happened. We just read about it in stale history books and things like that and certainly for younger generations you know this would be their what great great great-grandparents potentially or great-great-grandparents and it's important that we remember. And with a mix of what the performers call reflective music with pizzazz and jazz, the show is a single-handed nod to the Great War. John McKenzie, 39 Dunedin News.